Reese intended to play four years of soccer at the University of Wisconsin Oshkosh, but his time on the team was cut short when Oshkosh administration decided to cut the team after the 2015 season. First we were confused, we didn't really know why. We are all, then it was like a mad stage. We, we tried like fighting it, obviously. We wanted to stay as a program, we wanted to keep play soccer. It was a really good, really good group of guys. Reese and his teammates did all they could to try and save the program. They started a petition, raised their own money to help with budget problems, and pressured the administration to reverse their decision. But in the end, the program was cut and Reese was left without a team. The 2015 Oshkosh team ended their season in McAllister College in Minnesota, and Reese had no idea a now familiar face was in the crowd. Newly hired head men's soccer coach Mike Madigan was formerly an assistant coach for the men's team at McAllister, where the game was being hosted. So he watched Reese and his team finish the last game in program history. The program had a great history. Um, it had been obviously a very successful kind of part of a handful of programs within the Midwest. Certainly emotionally, you didn't want to see it go. But now the two are working together as Reese heads into his senior season and Madigan prepares for his first. Madigan says Reese has been a great leader and knows how to be a competitive player for the program. A program, Madigan says, is lucky to have the Warburg administration support. So we're fortunate here at Warburg that our administration is investing in all of our sports and investing at a really high level. It's disappointing that it wasn't that way at Oshkosh. Mm -hmm. Even though things didn't work out as planned for Reese, he's come to terms with everything that happened. He's even managed to find a silver lining. It happened, and I, I was able to bounce back from it pretty nicely because I ended up here. Some people will say everything happens for a reason. I'm not sure if I believe in that just yet, but, but maybe in this circumstance, maybe it did because I feel like I might be better off here. The men's soccer team will start its regular season in the fall. It's a season Reese knows he's fortunate to have. Reporting for Cedar Valley Today, I'm Olivia Jansen.